Alright, hello everyone, this is Species Vaders, and today I'll be doing yet another elevator parts tour, as today is my 6 year anniversary special. As you can see, I got a new main display, as I got a new bedroom yet, and so everything's more tidy now, so it's easier for me to showcase all this stuff, so without being said, let's begin this tour. So of course we have to begin with this famous panel, which is the first piece that I got for this collection. This is the Schindler NTCOP from 1333 West Broadway. And of course it was given to me by Kone. Here we have the ground four call button. 14 four call button. The emergency power thingy from the ground floor. And here we have the lanterns. And this right here are the spare lanterns from the building. Over here is a Schindler RT call gun from eBay. So as you can see right here, this is all my Schindler stuff because this is my main display. Of course, Schindler is my favorite brand. So this is why you see it displayed here now. On the other side, we have a Schindler HT lantern circuit board that was given to me by Schindler during a tour two years ago. This is the back, it's pretty simple. So this right here is my latest piece for the Schindler collection that I got. This is a Schindler uh, 33 or 55, I don't know, but this came from mainland China. And I'll show you guys uh, how it works once I plug this in, cause this thing is really cool. So this is the call button right here, barely attached to the outlet. So give you guys a quick uh, back of it. So a friend of mine uh, helped me wire this and I'm very happy about it. It's not the best, but uh, I'll show you guys a quick peek of it. Yeah, it's falling apart, which I don't like sometimes. Okay, here we go. So it displays that, and once you push the button, that's the only thing it will say. And yeah, and show the outlet, and the buttons go out. And over here are two of the spare buttons. They don't have circuit boards, unfortunately. And one of them don't have uh, buttons, I think. Yeah, this one has no button. It really sucks, but eh, whatever. Here we have the newer Otis Lexan call one that was given to me by Jim. This button can still be finicky sometimes, but this one works fine. But I do like how these buttons are pushed because it's pretty satisfying. Yeah, it really is. So over here we have pretty much an extension of the Schindler call button on the far right. So these are Mitsubishi. I believe this one is a Mitsubishi. This one's official Mitsubishi. But this one I'm not sure but if I recall it is. So these also came from mainland China. And I have no clue how these buttons are wired, but this is the this is the back of it. So here we have partially a COP off a 1980s Mitsubishi, and as you can see, it's some are in good shape, some are in bad shape. Like this one is in bad shape, but these buttons are really nice to push. And yeah, which is why I have tape to stick it because they're not connected. I have no clue how these buttons are wired as well. This is my North American display now. So I guess we'll begin with this. This is my Dover Impulse call button. Only one button still works 
And then here we have a spare arrow and a spare button. This golden piece you see right here is the latest piece for my North American display. So this is a US soft touch, but it has the ugly Adams replacement. But I was able to light this up luckily because of the base. It's really easy. It actually works okay. Yeah, sometimes it falls apart. So I got a few slots of paper so it doesn't fall again. So we'll continue with the tour. This is the Epco Colbun that I got on eBay. Another eBay Colbun. This is the ERM 93 or whatever it's called. So I guess we'll continue from here so it doesn't uh, fall again. So we'll begin with this. This is the Armor Vandal Resistant Colbun. This is from Justin. The Montgomery Vector Colbun. It doesn't light up still, but I haven't found the time to actually light it up because of a battery. And here's the Innovation Colbun. And it is very finicky. There you go. Yeah. So in this box, we have the spare buns next to the northern panel. So we'll begin with this. This is the Kona KSS 500. Kona KSS 370. And here we have the spare Mitsubishi stuff. Here we have the Schindler jacket, and if you notice, there's no Schindler hat. So the hat, I'm not sure where I stored it when I moved here, but it's somewhere. But it's kind of dry now, so I pretty much retired wearing it, so yeah. And to close this tour, this is the last shelf. So we begin with the Schindler MT indicators from 1333. This one's from the service elevator, and this one's from the third elevator. Here we have a few transit collectibles. A Schindler uh, van. This is a train that Martin Mood gave me. And here's a Westinghouse uh, circuit board. And a Westinghouse indicator from Justin. And here's a bus photo that I got on the first 9753 charter of trams a few years ago. And that concludes my annual elevator parts tour. So once again, thank you all for tuning in and that'll be it.